Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you Taurus? First of all, I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Hope you guys are ready to start um, to kick off this amazing, right, the, the beginning of the seasons. Um, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Anyways, let's get into your reading Taurus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of October. All right, let's get into it. Your first card here is the Eight of Swords. Uh, maybe feeling a bit restricted for some of you guys. You may be experiencing feeling a lot of anxiousness or anxiousness type of energy around you. Your next card here is the Eight of Pentacles. So I see you guys being a bit challenged when we're talking about career and finances, um, especially those of you guys that recently just started a new job or those of you guys that have recently transferred or there's been some type of change in your uh, profession or in your career. Um, what they're telling you here is try the best you can not to become or not to allow uh, yourself to feel very overwhelmed. Don't overanalyze or overthink. Uh, I feel that the more you overthink, the more you make yourself nervous and it makes or it uh, gives room and space to create more mistakes. I feel that what they're telling you here is it's very important to be confident in yourself and know that you are um, that you are competent, Taurus. Uh, of course, I don't need to tell you guys that because you guys already know, but they are telling you here, try the best you can to be uh, in control of your mind. So what do I mean by that? If you believe you're not capable of doing something, more than likely, you're not going to be able to do it. Why? Because you've already accepted that. Um, if there is doubt, there is fear. If there is fear, there is anxiousness. If there is anxiousness, there is doubt. And if there is doubt, there are mistakes. So again, Try the best you can to believe in yourself and be confident, um, especially if you're working uh, around people that could be negative or, potent or potentially are like the type of people that like to criticize a lot. Uh, try to shut that voice out. Try to uh, keep that um, or ignore that more than anything because I feel that uh, there's this nervousness type of energy and it's, on it's only because you feel like people are watching you or criticizing you. Your next card here is the chariot. Again, the chariot is that of power. It's that of knowing uh, your potential and going towards your achievements, towards your goals and making it happen. There's no excuses here. So what they're telling you is be confident in yourself, Tor, especially for this month of October. There's almost a transition, uh, a transition where you go from uh, maybe two years ago, not knowing exactly what life, you know, where life was leading you, uh, being able to look back and realize how far you've come and that things are no longer what they were and sometimes that could be scary but the beauty in that is that the potential is limitless like there is no limit to the blessings that can that continues to keep unfolding and that's the type of mentality that you need to get yourself in uh, with the ten of swords this is like um, almost the feeling of like being like what I just said, being able to look to the past and see everything you've overcame, all the obstacles that you had to go through in life uh, to be able to get you exactly to where you're at right now. But it is crucial and very important not to maintain yourself or not to stay in that energy of, you know, reminiscing about the past and how horrible it was. Because the moment we start to overstay in that energy, our energy field automatically shifts and it becomes more of that being stuck in the past. Um, therefore, you don't, it, it's more difficult for you to allow uh, the positive things to continue flowing. Um, so again, don't, it's okay to be sad sometimes, Taurus, but don't keep yourself in that energy. Not too long anyways. And your next card here is the Emperor card. The Emperor card is a very beautiful energy. This is the entrepreneur type of energy. This is talking about an ending cycle with the Ten of Swords, being able to uh, get to the Emperor energy, which is that of being like uh, you have purpose, knowing the purpose or knowing the path that you're walking and you're walking um, not only with purpose, but you're walking with confidence, knowing that you're very capable. Uh, the emperor also speaks about structure. So again, if you feel like energy has been a little bit chaotic as of lately, what they're telling you is 
try the best you can to focus on the structure or creating a routine that becomes safe for you uh, in, in regards to time managing the responsibilities or things that you need to get done for this month of October. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I'll see you guys soon. And again, happy Hallow's Eve to everyone.